welcome and welcome back to the channel today i'm going out to check by the way it's a beautiful day out here in the a y'all see i'm at the dealership today car dealership uh, chrysler jeep dodge ram dealership all right that is my 925 all right now i'm headed out to check a 2015 jeep cherokee all right so uh, they says it's hesitating. No check engine light. It's hesitating while you're driving. She said it was doing this. Mm, mm. Now, with no check engine light, uh, things could get a little scary. Here's the car right here. All right. Uh, here we go. Okay, hesitating. Let's see what we got here. Whoa, 123,000 miles. And they're right, no check engine light. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to do some diagnosis. I know a lot of you techs hate when um, you're checking out a car and there's no check engine light, um, <laughs> basically to bail you out. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love it when there's a check engine light, but it becomes a challenge when there is no check engine light, okay? Because you gotta keep in mind, there's some things that's not monitored on certain cars. For instance, this is a 2015, uh, Patriot, Jeep Patriot. I know for a fact, uh, fuel pressure is not monitored on this car, okay? That year they didn't have it. For some reason, Chrysler didn't install fuel pressure sensors on the fuel rail to, you know, to monitor fuel pressure, to tell the computer how much the pressure is. They said it was a safety issue. I understand that because if that rail leaked because that sensor is leaking, that could cause some real danger and some real, you know, cause some problems. So. Uh, that's one of the things that's not monitored. So that's one of the things you should check. I mean, there's a lot of things that's not monitored on certain cars. Like I say, now the newer cars, uh, I saw uh, we're putting uh, starting Chrysler starting to put fuel pressure sensors on the fuel rail. All right, I think I seen a 2018 uh, truck with a. Uh, actually, I had to replace one. Next time I uh, get one to replace, I will uh, review that part and tell you what it do and uh, go over it with you. But back to this issue hesitating doing this this is what she said now i'm about to go to test drive y'all know i can't film while i test drive but keep in mind just because there is no check engine light does not mean there is no problem it very well could be a problem all right and uh nobody wants to take their car into the shop out of warranty keep in mind it's out of the warranty so they know they're gonna be faced with a, a estimate that may be high so they has to be they almost have to be telling the truth. Now, sometimes when you're on the warranty, uh, you know, you, you're a little suspect of if the problem is really happening on a particular car or a particular customer. Because some people that know their repairs on the warranty can be a little, you know, I got a problem, I got a problem, and not really have a problem. In that instant, you have to educate the, the customer, okay? So, but I can almost guarantee if this lady know uh, think she have a problem and she knows she had a warranty she obviously got a problem so again i'm about to go test drive this car i will come back and let y'all know my finding also keep in mind uh, uh uh the computer can very well be causing this now i'm not saying go out and uh replace your computer every time you got a drivability problem with no check in the light uh i'm talking about um uh, computer updates flash updates okay that very well could be some form of update that will address whatever issue you have and so um and most dealerships can usually find that problem pretty easily <laughs> now again i'm not advocating to take your car to a dealership well i am suggesting you take it to a dealership but if you don't and what for whatever reason i don't even want to know the reason <laughs> i've heard a lot of reasons why people don't take their car to dealership but in some cases you're doing yourself a disservice because you can pretty much get the right diagnostic the first time, you know, uh, visiting a dealership. It's their, it's their product, it's their stuff. They have the proper scan tool that can tell them everything. Some shops can't, uh, scan tools cannot tell you everything that's going on with your car because the scan tool can't access uh, a lot of the functions. Okay, it's every scan tool out there in the aftermarket world may cannot get into your BCM, body control module may cannot get into your transmission control module now they are all generally standardized to have to allow you all car makers have to allow you to get into the engine especially the emission part of the engine but for the most part a lot of them won't even let you in it why i don't know but 
This video too long, so let me go test drive this thing. I will get back with y'all as to why this Jeep Patriot hesitating. She, this is the way she this uh, subscribe. Uh, this is the way she described it. She like, yeah, when I'm driving, you're just doing this. I'm like, ma'am, is checking the light on? No, no checking the light. When the last time you had tune up anything like that? Uh, I just had a tune up about three months ago. So, uh, this is a challenge. No checking the light. Let's get with it, man. Thanks for watching. I will let y'all know on part two uh, what's going on because I'm about to go drive and I don't want to film while I'm driving. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video. And we're going to talk about... Uh...